Ever wondered how your pet's food affects the environment? It's a question we seldom ponder, isn't it? But make no mistake, what our four-legged companions munch on has a significant footprint on our shared planet. From greenhouse gas emissions to deforestation, the pet food industry has a substantial impact. But don't worry, it's not all doom and gloom. There are sustainable alternatives waiting to be discovered. Stay with us as we explore sustainable pet food options. Cooking for your pet doesn't just mean a healthier diet, but it can also be a greener choice. Imagine the joy of preparing a meal for your furry friend using ingredients that you know are fresh, local and seasonal. It's an experience that not only ensures the health of your pet, but also contributes to a more sustainable world. Let's talk about homemade recipes for different pets. For our canine companions, a simple sautéed chicken and vegetables meal can be a delightful treat. The chicken provides the essential proteins, while the vegetables contribute to the necessary vitamins and fiber. On the other hand, our feline friends might enjoy a sweet potato puree and oatmeal dish. Sweet potatoes are a great source of fiber and vitamins, while oatmeal provides the much-needed carbohydrates. And let's not forget our small yet equally important hamster buddies. They would absolutely love some banana and peanut butter cookies. Bananas are a good source of vitamins and minerals, while peanut butter provides the protein and healthy fats that they need. Cooking for pets has numerous benefits. It allows you to control what goes into your pet's diet, ensuring that they're getting the right balance of nutrients. It's also a great way to cater to any specific dietary needs or allergies that your pet may have. Plus, it can be an enjoyable bonding activity. Using local and seasonal ingredients is not only cost-effective, but also environmentally friendly. It reduces the carbon footprint associated with transporting goods over long distances and supports local farmers and producers. It's a win-win situation for you, your pet and the planet. Moreover, homemade pet food reduces packaging waste. Most commercial pet foods come in single-use plastic bags or cans, which end up in landfills. By preparing your pet's meals at home, you can significantly reduce the amount of waste you produce. So you see, homemade pet food is not just healthy, but it can also be eco-friendly. It's a simple and effective way to contribute to a more sustainable world while ensuring the well-being of your beloved pet. Looking for alternatives to industrial kibble? There's more out there than you might think. Let's start with barf. No, not what your dog does after eating too quickly, but rather biologically appropriate raw food. This diet is based on raw meat, bones and vegetables, a combination designed to mimic what our pet's ancestors would have eaten in the wild. It's a diet that many pet owners swear by, claiming it leads to shinier coats, healthier skin, cleaner teeth and higher energy levels. But what if you're not ready to go full caveman with your pet's diet? That's okay, there are other options. Consider natural treats, for instance. These are treats made from fruits, vegetables, or dried meat. Not only do they provide a tasty reward for your pet, but they're also healthier and more environmentally friendly than many store-bought alternatives. And speaking of store-bought alternatives, let's not forget about organic and grain-free kibbles. While they might look similar to the kibble you're used to, these options are different. Organic kibble is made without the use of pesticides, synthetic fertilizers, or genetically modified organisms, making it a healthier choice for your pet and a more sustainable choice for the environment. Grain-free kibble, on the other hand, eliminates grains like corn, wheat, and soy, ingredients that many pets have difficulty digesting. But why should you consider these alternatives? Well, in addition to potentially being healthier for your pet, they're also better for the environment. They require fewer resources to produce and because they're often made with higher quality ingredients, they can reduce waste by providing your pet with the nutrients they need in smaller portions. And less waste, as we all know, is better for our planet. So whether you're considering barf, natural treats, or organic and grain-free kibbles, remember that these alternatives are not just about feeding your pet. They're about making choices that are healthier for them and better for our environment. Switching to these alternatives can make a huge difference for your pet's health and the environment. Let's take a moment to understand the environmental impact of the pet food industry. The pet food industry, like many others, has a significant footprint on our planet. One of the major effects is the production of greenhouse gases. 
Take for instance the carbon dioxide emissions from the factories where pet food is made. Then there are the methane emissions from the livestock reared for the meat that goes into your pet's food. These gases contribute to the warming of our planet and the resulting climate change we're experiencing, but that's not all. The pet food industry is also linked to deforestation. Vast stretches of land, often forest areas, are cleared to make way for livestock farming or to grow crops that are used in pet food. This not only results in the loss of valuable habitats, but it also means less trees to absorb carbon dioxide, exacerbating the greenhouse effect. Another aspect to consider is water consumption. It takes a substantial amount of water to raise livestock and grow crops. Then there's the water used in the manufacturing process of pet food. All this puts a strain on our already limited water resources. Furthermore, the pet food industry is a major consumer of natural resources. The meat that goes into pet food is often sourced from animals that have been fed on grains and soya. These crops require land to grow, often leading to the conversion of natural habitats into agricultural fields. This not only threatens biodiversity, but also contributes to soil degradation and water pollution due to the excessive use of fertilizers and pesticides. So you see, the pet food we buy off the shelves has a much larger environmental impact than most of us realize. It contributes to greenhouse gas emissions, deforestation, water consumption and the depletion of natural resources. However, this doesn't mean we should stop feeding our pets. On the contrary, it's about making informed choices and understanding the connection between what we feed our pets and its impact on the environment. There are alternatives out there that are more sustainable and environmentally friendly. Opting for pet food made from locally sourced ingredients or choosing brands that prioritize sustainability can make a difference. We can also consider feeding our pets a balanced diet that includes more plant-based ingredients, reducing the demand for meat and thus its associated environmental impact. It's also worth noting that portion control is crucial. Overfeeding not only leads to pet obesity, but also results in more waste. Making sure your pets are getting the right amount of food not only benefits their health, but also helps reduce the environmental impact. And lastly, let's not forget about food waste. Leftover pet food often ends up in landfills, contributing to methane emissions. By feeding your pets the right amount and composting any leftovers, we can help fight against food waste. As pet owners, it's our responsibility to reduce this impact. We owe it to our pets and to our planet. We've talked about the problem, now let's focus on the solutions. You see, it's not all doom and gloom. There are sustainable solutions to reduce the environmental impact of pet food. One of the most effective ways is by choosing a sustainable diet for your pets. This means opting for pet food that's made from local, organic and seasonal ingredients. Not only does this reduce carbon emissions from transportation, but it also supports local farmers and promotes biodiversity. Now you might be wondering, but what about meat-based pet food? Well, that's where the concept of nose-to-tail eating comes in. It's about using all parts of an animal, not just the prime cuts, which reduces waste and also provides a wider range of nutrients for our beloved pets. Next, let's talk about portion control. Overfeeding isn't just bad for your pet's waistline, it's also bad for the planet. By reducing portions, we can minimize the amount of food that goes to waste and lessen the demand for resources needed to produce pet food. Remember, a lean pet is a healthy pet and portion control is key to achieving that. Speaking of waste, fighting against food waste is another key solution. Leftovers from your meals can be repurposed into pet food, as long as they're safe for your pets to consume. For instance, plain cooked vegetables, rice and certain types of meat can be mixed into your pet's meals. This not only reduces waste, but also adds variety to your pet's diet. Lastly, let's not forget about packaging. Opt for pet food brands that use recyclable or biodegradable packaging. Or better yet, bring your own containers and buy in bulk where possible. This significantly cuts down on plastic waste, which is a major contributor to environmental pollution. By implementing these solutions, we can make a significant difference in reducing the environmental impact of our pet's diet. And remember, it doesn't have to be all or nothing. Even small changes can make a big difference. Remember, every small step counts towards creating a sustainable planet. So, what have we learned today? We've discovered that our pet's diet can be both healthy and sustainable. 
From homemade recipes using local seasonal ingredients to alternatives to traditional kibble, we have options. We've delved into the environmental impact of pet food and realized that by choosing sustainable solutions, we can help reduce that impact. It's clear that we hold the power to make a difference. So let's start today and let's make a difference. One pet meal at a time.